G'day guys, welcome back to the channel and another Scooby-Doo review and uh, yet yeah, today I'll be reviewing Safari So Goody which is the 8th episode of the first season of What's New Scooby-Doo So yeah, let's jump straight into the review So yeah, like I said, this one was titled Safari So Goody. Um, and uh, yeah, quite an interesting episode, quite unique, quite different to the show. Definitely more the weirder ones that I've had to come to review um, so far in uh, season one. Um, and uh, yeah, like in the title, this one sees the gang going to Africa for a safari. Um, yeah, they're going on like a, a bit of a tour of like just a local area in Africa which is really really cool and you know going to film like a documentary and go see all the cool African animals as most people go to do um and uh yeah um it wasn't a bad episode um yeah had some pretty good moments um but uh also had some disappointing moments it's really really hard one to rank um yeah, I've been contemplating what I'm going to give it, but I'm probably just going to give it a, a 6.5 for now. Um, but yeah, that certainly could change by the time I come to, you know, um, rank every single um, season one episode. So uh, yeah, um, definitely one of the harder ones to rank. But yeah, I'm going to give it a 6.5 for now. There's nothing I hated about the episode. Um, but yeah, it really could have been better. Um, the the villains or doing animals like it was literally just jungle demons but it was literally just the african animals painting it in like some makeup it was yeah i didn't like that i mean while having animals as the villains would have been like really cool i feel like they would have like like, like they kind of haven't done it justice and yeah i feel like it could have been better um but yeah it, it, it's so dumb. It's literally just glowing animals. It's like, oh my god, they're ghosts, but like they're so obviously not. Like it's weird, really, really, really weird. Um, and uh, saying uh, with weird, uh, in this one because you know they're in Africa, we meet some pretty strange characters. Um, some of them memorable, some of them not. Um. I mean, I really liked some of the characters, like, don't get me wrong, in this episode. But then again, there are a few really bad ones that, um, let's just say let it down. Um, but, uh, yeah, we had the Hunsackers. Uh, they were the, probably the worst ca characters out of all of them. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, I didn't really have an opinion on them. Um, we also had um mr mumbuku i don't know if, if i can call him that but like that's i'm pretty sure that's what 
he was called. Um, anyway, he was like a s- undercover police officer, and he was just like a, a t-shirt salesman undercover, you know, um, with his monkey Jacko. Um, and you know, um, he was uh cool. Um, had some really nice moments. So yeah, definitely memorable. I uh, also got Captain. Uh, the the uh, the captain of the boat. Oh, I have absolutely no idea how I could remember his name. So uh yeah, and then you got uh Doctor or oh, Doctor Goodfew. Um, yeah, she was she was bad as well. Her and the Hunsackers really 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 let down the characters in this episode because I just did not like their personalities and all that. They were just weird. But uh, Mister Mabuku and the captain were really memorable. And Jacko as well was pretty cool. Um, the thing that I also didn't like in this episode is that the uh, the the culprits captured Jacko and Scooby because they're technically you know animals, um, but they're like domestic animals. But whatever, um, yeah. And they got that creepy looking makeup on them as well. That was so weird. That just ruined it really. That 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 made it even worse really. Um, and, uh, yeah, look, uh, Scooby, you know, get in that makeup. Yeah. Uh, it's really weird. It doesn't fit with the plot as well. So I'd, I have absolutely no idea why they did that. Um, but, uh, yeah, they only saw about maybe a, three or four actual animals, excluding the baby animals at the start and all that nonsense. Um, all the adult animals, but they saw a gorilla, a zebra, Oh, I don't know if there was any others, um, really, um, that weren't actually had that creepy colour on. And then, you know, once they've solved the mystery, you know, they see animals at the end that w- with no makeup on. But during the episode, we didn't see that many animals um, with makeup because, you know, the reason why Dr. Kurt, uh, good for you, who's like, you know, um, big, animal person, um, I don't know, anyway, she, she came all the way out to Africa to try and figure out that why, um, these animals are disappearing and turning into jungle demons, um, but yeah, um, I don't know, I, I, I didn't like her personality, did personality at all, um, and yeah, it's really weird because, like, you know, there's endangered animals, heaps of endangered African animals, right, and, you know, they were already disappearing. And then, like, you know, you got everything else. Uh, I, I w- it would have been better to see some more animals, not to see them all. Because like, they weren't literally like a few animals. Um, Spoil alert, locked up in the boat where the culprits were keeping all the animals um, that would make up on. There was only, like, leopards, zebra, a gorilla. Um, oh maybe a few others, um, that we saw in the chase song, um, but yeah, my goodness, they've really buggered this one up, I feel, um, because the mystery was actually pretty entertaining, I thought, like, it was, you know, pretty good, because you got, you know, the mystery of, like, animals disappearing, like, that's, that's a pretty good mystery, like, unique, um, pretty clever, and, like, you know, it, it moves at such a slow pace. It's like sort of refreshing in a way to get a What's New Scooby-Doo episode with a mystery this good because it, it it's a really good mystery. Um, But just because everything else is let down, you just, it, it just, it's, uh, it, it's, it's underutilized. It's not highlighted as much. It's not as significant to this episode and my ranking, um, the mystery for this one. But uh, yeah, I mean, unfortunate really. Um. The chase song in this one was called the Hatari Safari. Yeah, um, I mean, it kind of matched the episode. Um, I mean, they um, probably called it that because it was probably a unique song to the show. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, probably the worst one so far, I want to say. I mean, the, the, the soundtrack wasn't too bad. Um, like, all the beat and all that. But, yeah, um... I don't know, um, because excitement happened, you know, it was, you know, they, they set up camp for the night, the gang, um, because, you know, this is the point where, um, you know, the the boat that they were 
touring on has like crashed and you know they are now on the dangerous side of the um the Akuzi river um which is where they're at obviously and you know where all the jungle demons have been sighted and all where the crocodiles live and all that um and uh yeah well then they set up camp and then you know the chase song happens yeah um i mean we got a good amount of feature from animals you know we got all sorts of animals in it so i mean it wasn't horrible um but yeah maybe the soundtrack let it down a bit but it wasn't horrible either so yeah um Just wanted a bit more, I guess. Um, and there, uh, after that, you know, everything starts to go hot, hot haywire for the uh, for that because that's when you know Scooby and Jarko get taken, and then yeah, then I feel like the episode get goes into a bit of a weird type of rut from there on in. So I feel like the first half was definitely better. And then, you know, after the waterfall and then, you know, the chase song, it kind of just goes downhill, um, is what I'm trying to say. And, yeah, not only that, the mystery, the overall arcing mystery, the spookiness, the just the entertainment just went down. And, yeah, um, you know, that... You know, the gang, they're suspicious of everyone, you know, and they figure out that um, Mr. Mabuku is a uh, police officer and they also figure out that um, the river captain is, you know, um, you know, hiding a map. Um, and this map is like, you know, you could get them back easily, but they're hiding it for a reason because he's got like some special, oh, I don't know what it was. It was like something special and valuable to him that he wanted to hide um, on this side of the river. And, uh, yeah, they, they just didn't talk about it for the rest of the episode. Which I thought was just really weird. So confusing. Why did they put it in there? You know what I'm saying? Uh, but then, anyway, move on to the reveal. You know, once they find Junko and, you know, um, they figure out when they meet Junko, um that there's, like, this weird noise that's being played. Um, and that's that's hypnotizing the animals to you know lose their minds and go crazy. So not only were they like you know jungle demons and they look like they were possessed with the makeup, they were actually also losing their minds with that weird like spooky speaker that was causing them to um you know I guess act that way. And then you know they they find the river boat um and then they free all the animals and then Daphne just all all of a sudden out of the blue just goes, you know I think I know who it is and just points out the Hunsackers, and yeah, the Hunsackers, you know, it was a bit weird how, you know, they'd been, you know, they're like a lovey-dovey couple, and like, it's like their fourth time doing this safari, like, it's not that good, like, it can't be that good, you can't do it four times years in a row, and then, you know, it's mentioned that, you know, that they're poachers, they're, you know, they don't want to harm, they don't want to necessarily harm all these African animals, but, you know, there's lots of people 
uh, lots of rich people that want exotic pets and you know if they can sell them on the black market you know I make a ton of money um, yeah I mean not the worst plot you mean poachers that's a bit different for Scooby-Doo I mean you're used to that a lot I feel um, in like animal episodes so I'll take it that that's a pretty good thing but that's where it stops the plot wasn't that bad Scooby and Jackal being captured they're already domestic animals like why and the opening scene was so weird it looked like it was set two years or something or a year earlier than present because i think we saw correct me if i'm wrong a younger um a younger couple of the hunsackers so that's really 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 weird and so confusing but like it makes sense but like they haven't mentioned it because you know they've done it for four years in a row so how long has this poaching and you know jungle demons been happening like yeah lots of answers for this episode like i feel like this one could have been a movie of what's new scooby-doo but like it would have been bad i feel but then again maybe it wouldn't have it's probably be better than maybe a cut yeah i don't know it's hard to say it feels like you know they needed a bit more time for this episode uh, to maybe explain it a bit better and, you know, all that because they couldn't really do all the explaining. Also, I want to quickly mention, I noticed this. Um, they did it more than once. I think they did it two or even maybe even three times in this episode. They used, they reused um, the chase songs from previous episodes um, in a few, few times like it. When Shaggy and Scooby, you know, during uh, their boat tour, um, they're listening um, to Rad Rad World from the first episode. Um, so that was cool to see. And then they did it again. They used the Mystery Kids theme. Um, and that's what they used to unhypnotize Chuck Hall. Um, so that was really, really weird. And also, um, you had Shaggy and Scooby during, you know, the, when they're at the fire, um, because, you know, um, that this is when they're camping and all that. They were listening to, uh, we're listening to another one. So that's the point what I'm trying to get here. That's like really, really cool. Um, that they, you know, did that. They used free, um, of like the past chase songs. Like that's a really, really cool throw, throwback. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's really, really, really cool in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, anyways, um, that's often really, really good. But yeah, um, really, really, really weird and disappointing, um, at times this episode. Um, um, yeah. Um, it's a hard one to rank, that's for sure. 6.5. Obviously not the best one, and uh, yeah, um, tough one, that's for sure, to review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, though, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Modern life. Your search. Game called on account of demons. Chuckle, chuckle, thumb down, boy. Ten little monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> like this is no time for joking around. We've got to find Scooby. He's my best friend. I'd hardly call that joking.